RAG applications fail to answer questions of yours that they need entire context to get you the answer. For example, if you ask, give me the summary of a book, it goes beyond just a couple of chunks to give you the answer back. Exactly, that's why you need dynamic retrieval in your RAG application that does both chunk-based retrieval and also file-based retrieval dynamically. And let us let you know how to do it. Then, let's go. Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. Right, let's get into dynamic section retrieval, which we're going to implement that by Llama Index and Llama Parser. But what is the main challenge we are trying to tackle with this approach? Well, a common problem, as mentioned here in RAG application, is that sometimes there are some specific questions that you cannot get the answer by just retrieving relevant chunks which are fragmented and it's not really showing you the whole holistic picture of what is the context that your language model should know before getting you the answer. So what we're going to do in order to tackle this problem and going beyond just naively chunking and pushing relevant chunks to the problem to get the answer back, what we're going to do, we actually want to first tag chunks of long dummy documents with the sections. So what does that mean? We're going to actually create a metadata about our, our documents. For example, how many sections we have, how many subsections we have, what are the titles, what are the page numbers. And then we will have that through an ex structured extraction using Lama Parser and Index. And then when we're going to answer, uh, ask a question to get the response back through RAG, we will have uh, two type of retrieval. First, we will have a semantic search to get some relevant chunks. And at the same time, because we know the metadata data of those chunks which sections they are coming from we can now using metadata filtering which is not a semantic search it's a metadata search to maybe pull the entire section that we're asking a question to get more information about what's going on around that context we are looking for an answer instead of just retrieving a couple of chunks so let's see how we can automatically do this with this information and the example that all index provided and this code that i'm running here uh, will be added to the Discord channel. The link of Discord channel is in the video description below. You click on it, there's a section called Reference. You click on it and you will get access to this Google Colab notebook. All right, so obviously you need to install some Loma Index packages, including the parser and Loma Index by itself. And given that I'm using Chroma for my vector database locally, I'm installing that. But again, you can certainly have your uh, vector database for your RAG application as you want to. So for doing the RAG, here are a list of examples of uh, papers provided. I commented out these two because I just want to have these papers getting parsed and indexed for running this RAG application, but this is going to be certainly your data set. And here I'm just creating path for downloading these uh, papers, three papers. I downloaded them locally and obviously you have to make sure you have your OpenAI key because I'm using OpenAI for my language model provider, but you can use anything as you want to. And here, for using Llama Parser, it, it needs Llama Cloud API key, but using Llama Parser, what is Llama Parser, first of all? It is helping you to extract information from potential images, tables, uh, any structured data that you have in the PDFs to have them nicely structured for you in a markdown format for your language model. It's not a must to have, but obviously a great thing if you're specifically dealing with so many charts and tables in your PDFs. So now I'm importing Llama Parse and I want to have the result of parsing those charts and stuff in the PDF as markdown. And here I am actually going through all the papers in the paper path we provided to run this parser as we discussed. So I started parsing for the file and you see that there are three PDF files, so three parsing jobs initiated for me. Now what we're going to do, we're going to convert the dictionary that we created above into the text node objects that we can put into a vector database. So node is a definition, like consider something like similar to chunk, but it has not only text, but also we're going to add some metadata to that text as we discussed about it, right? So for doing so, we have some helper functions for getting the page number and also uh, having this function to sort the dumped images by the page number uh, in this format as I specified here. Now, in order to 
split our docs into chunks or nodes using a separator here is the function that get the text and do that separation as needed and then the, this code we're gonna combine all the chunks and nodes we grab from the, all the papers into just one single list so far we didn't do anything fancy it's all about chunking uh, making them prepared for, for uh, creating vector embedding out of them also dealing with parser for dealing with some images and stuff but this is the main part about dynamic section ritual approach now we're gonna create uh, some solutions that extract metadata section schema from our documents that we have so as you can see here by metadata I want to know the section number of each chunk I want to know what is the current section title associated for example you have a chunk coming from page 32 oh it's coming from a section called experimental results maybe that title was at page number 16 but your chunk is from 32 but at least you know from which section your chunk is coming from even the page number or if it's a subsection tell me true or false so this part it's totally optional you can have and define as as you know better your metadata and how your pdf uh documents are properly managed but here is just an example to define these uh, sections and metadata in the class and then i'm gonna have a valid section of all the indexes that include some metadata coming from here so now in order to extract the metadata out of my pdfs into this schema that we define on the top this is actually the code and as you can see we're obviously going to use language model so this is the prompt that tells that go through all the chunks to tell me are we in a subsection what is the name what is the section name what is the section title what is the page number or any potential description again this prompt is totally subjective to you and your decision so i'm not going through the details of this prompt here is a basic example to start with and then in order to also make sure this poet is doing its job correctly we're gonna have another prompt to refine these sections that we have captured from here so this guy gonna just double check making sure everything is correct the sections may be incorrect if it's incorrect what we should do so it's like a secondary supervision on how we have extracted those metadata and information from the chunks all right so with running this function end to end as you can see for each tree pdf i was able to extract this information and to give you an example for one of the pdf you will see that i have a structured output by the way because i use llama index structured output so it's forcing llm to give me a structured answer not just a text that include what is the section number the title where this section started from okay page number one so maybe i can use this later on to grab all the pages from page number one that's about our uh, document retrieval based on metadata not just based on semantic search so here's the rest of the example for the same pdf i'm not going through that all but else of course if you want to you can have this metadata uh, saved in the pickle file or in your regular database these are just optional and now given that we have chunks and we have the metadata sections i need to add those metadata sections to chunks this is actually the code doing that for me it's adding the page number uh, uh, section title so on and so forth and again you can choose to t store these text and chunks in a pickle file but obviously you don't want to do that when you're actually productionizing some of this is just an example here and here for example one of the pdfs i have 106 nodes and then i want to of course build an index in the vector database to have this metadata plus chunks going through that and i'm using chroma db but again this can be replaced with any vector database that you have and now i'm ready to start doing rack but not just a simple rack it's a dynamic section level retrieval so i grab relevant chunks plus the whole section that if it's relevant to that question to get precise answer for my rack so this is what this code technically does and as you can see if for example give me a full overview of the benchmark details in SWE bench this one is showing me oh, okay I need to retrieving these sections this can be just metadata filtering and plus chunks and you can see the metadata some of them are coming from page 15 16 17 18. why because they're all coming from the same section that's why that section is relevant to this question and the question is very holistic it's like a full overview this is not something you can answer just based on a couple of chunks right to give you a question based example let me scroll all the way down uh just trying this full rack pipeline tell me more about how difficult it correlates with context learning sw bench as you can see it retrieved not only chunks but also the whole sections section a section five 
again benchmark details result benchmark details and here's the answer for me retrieve but this has more holistic answer or give me a full overview of blah 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 again as you can see it's retrieving relevant sections not just chunks and the answer is much more comprehensive and if I check out the metadata of this answer it tells me okay it goes beyond really just chunks so I have retrieved the whole section somehow using that metadata that we extracted by LLM to give me a more holistic answer all right that was just a quick overview of how we can mitigate the challenge of fragmented chunks and not being able to answer a question with just a couple of chunks that are coming from different sections of the, the, the paper or your documents without knowing the storyline of how these chunks are related or how, where they're coming from. So by being able to add in that metadata section and filtering that through two, two path retrieval, we were able to answer even questions that they need an overview based answer. That is one of the main challenges of current knife rack approaches. All right, I hope you found this video helpful and you enjoyed the session. If yes, I would be very thankful if you click on like icon and make sure you ask your questions and thoughts in comment section. All right, thank you so much. You want to make your life better? It comes with a cost. Your new life will cost you your old life. Your new friends will cost you your old friends. And being liked by good people will cost you being liked by everybody and try to pay the cost by power than money dream big my friends believe in yourself and take action till next video take care